What's happening everybody? Eric here, back at you with a brand new video. Now, before we dive into any details, you already know the drill. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button down below. Now, in this week's video, we're following up with the second installment of the a Local versus Chain series. You guys may remember a video I did with Submarine Sandwiches where I reviewed local restaurants versus chain restaurants to see who did it better, which if you haven't seen it though, I'm gonna toss a link on the screen for you so you can go ahead and check it out. But you guys seem to enjoy it, so I figured I'd toss a second round into the mix and do it this time with one of my absolute favorite things in the world. Coffee. Now, I fully intend to be completely wired by the end of this video, but you guys already know there isn't anything in the world, within reason, that I wouldn't do for all you lovely and beautiful folks out there. But anyways, I'm a little tired. I need a little bit of a pick-me-up, so I think it's about time we hit the road and head over to the first stop. Oh yeah, let's go. everyone chain is up first so for the first stop of the first round and the first stop of the day we went to Tim Hortons now you guys already know I frequent Tim Hortons fairly often they're pretty much number one or two on my speed dial at all times of the day so it only made sense that we started there so I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting uh, it is a medium cold brew black you guys already know I like my coffee like my soul black also my heart black but anyways, I'm going to dive in here, save the first sip for all you lovely and beautiful folks out there, of course. And then we're going to review together. Well, I'm going to review it and then together we will see the results. Yeah, sure. That works. All right, let me. So that's what we got here. I'll show you guys again really quick. You can see the moist just dripping off of it. Oh, yeah. All right. First sip. It's more like a gulp than a sip, to be honest with you, but <sighs> yeah, very, very good. Now I do pretty much have this every day. So for me to be surprised at how good it is, there's not going to be much of a reaction from that. I'm very familiar with the taste, but it is quite delicious. Even if it doesn't catch me off guard of how delicious it is, but second sip time. Hmm. I literally could chug this whole coffee right now and I very well just may, but I know I have three more coming today and I really don't want to be that wired, but uh, yeah, this is, this is very good. Mm. Absolute wonderful start. Absolute wonderful start. So comment below and let me know. I actually just did a video uh, recently. It was pretty much last week by the time you guys are going to see this, uh, where I gave a bunch of tips on how to stay on track. If you're trying to lose weight or you're dieting or you're just trying to be strict with your diet. And one of the tips was caffeine, specifically drinking black coffee if you're able to. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoy black coffee or you need something in there flavor wise. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. There's a lot of stigma behind black coffee, but it's really good. Once you kind of get used to it, you just kind of, I don't know, get used to it for lack of a better word. Mm. Heck yeah. Oh, it's delicious. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. I'm not gonna rank anything. You guys know from the last time I did this video where I rank submarine sandwiches, local versus chain. I don't rate until the end of the round. So this was really good, but we're gonna see what the next locally owned coffee shop has in store for us. All right, time to hit the road for stop number two of round number one. Alrighty folks, so stop number two of round number one, we headed to Chow Cafe, which is a local owned coffee shop in my area. I got myself 
another black coffee. Now this is the second one of the day, so I fully intend to be fairly hyper and wired by the end of this one, but we'll see how things go. I also got myself a couple desserts this time around. I know this is a coffee video, but I figured since we're at a locally owned shop, gonna support the local business, gonna grab a couple of snacks as well, treat myself, you know, why not? But no spoilers yet, I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit. So here is the black coffee, iced coffee that I got. Cheers, gonna give this a try. Oh wow, yeah that's really good. Oof. I don't know about you guys, comment below and let me know if you uh, agree, but definitely not something I sip when it comes to a beverage and there's a straw. I always end up like gulping or chugging it more than I actually just sip it. But yeah, comment below, let me know if you guys agree and do the same. All right, yeah, that's really good. Okay, so first dessert I got here, just something to try out. We got a uh, blueberry lemon muffin. I'm gonna show you guys that right there. I don't know, I feel like I saw you do something. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Woo. That was good. Mm. It's like three bites and it's gone. You guys already know, when I eat, I don't waste time. I eat quick, just boom, 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 get her done. But that's really good. Let's try that with the coffee. Oh yeah, delicious. I'm just gonna finish this in one bite, why not? Hmm. Good stuff. All right, so that's down. Show you guys this uh, really nice treat right here. I try not to knock things over. I believe this is an Oreo cheesecake. Oh, cool. look at how nice they made it. Just let's showcase the uh, staff that made this look just like Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen like quality right here. I'm telling you. But we're gonna dive right into this. Oh yeah, I'm trying to make sure this doesn't fall over, but look at that. Oh my goodness. What? Cheers. Oh Saved by the plate. All right, I gotta do this. Just got the Oreo right here. I just gotta dive right into some whipped cream. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. Take one more bite here. Magnifique. Let's have a little bit more coffee. Whew, wow, that is good. All right, so I'm gonna finish this off and definitely finish the rest of that cheesecake off. There's no way I'm wasting that. But we've reached the end of the first round, so there is a rating that is necessary to happen here. So when it comes to Tim Hortons, which is the chain, and locally owned Chow Cafe, Gonna have to go with Chow Cafe on this one and call them the winner of round number one. That cheesecake is delicious, the desserts were great, but again, from coffee standpoint on its own, as good as Tim Horton's coffee is, it can be also hit or miss. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more watered down, but it's still delicious. I have Tim Horton's all the time. I don't always have time to come to locally owned coffee shops, but this one is absolutely ridiculously good. Seems like iced tea, it looks like iced tea, but it's so good, I'm gonna just, Mm. Yeah, finished, done. Oh, that straw just makes you wanna chug it. All right, so round number one is complete. We are gonna head to the third stop of the day, which is the first stop of round number two. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, 
Ding, ding, ding. Round number two has begun, and we went to Starbucks. Now, the reason I chose Starbucks was, especially outside of Canada, when it comes to chain restaurants, I know that Starbucks is pretty much the go-to for everybody. I know Tim Hortons isn't really too much outside of Canada, so I figured it only made sense. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting, and it is a medium, don't ask me to speak Starbucks language, I'm not good at it. I maybe think it's a grande, but don't quote me on that, please. Uh, cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. You guys know, like I mentioned, I do take my coffee black. This still is black, but I figured for the purpose of this video and you lovely folks out there, I'd change it up a little bit and add a little flavor to it. So, cheers. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it adds a little bit with the vanilla. Let's take another sip. Oh yeah. I do like black coffee, obviously for the calories, like there's not much in it, and the caffeine, which obviously suppresses your hunger, and that's one of the main reasons that I do drink coffee. But another main reason I do drink is I actually do enjoy black coffee. I like to taste the coffee when I drink it. But sometimes adding a little bit of flavor isn't too bad, but it's very rare that I add anything to it. But since this is sugar-free, it's probably not many calories in it and just adds a little something extra. It's not bad. Mm. All right, comment below. I want you guys to let me know if you like flavor in your coffee. If you're someone who drinks black coffee or just regular coffee, maybe a little bit of sugar, some cream, some milk, something like that, do you put anything additional into your coffee besides milk, cream, or sugar? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. I know there's hazelnut, vanilla, pumpkin spice, everything in a couple of months, which I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait for. Even if it doesn't necessarily go in coffee. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I fully intend to be completely wired out of my mind. I'm three coffees down right now. This is the first of the second round. We have one more to go. I completely expect to be bouncing off the walls like Mystical in that 2005 song. You keep bumping me against the wall. You keep bumping me against the wall. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna finish this off, but you guys know until the round is complete, we do not give our final judgment and we do not rank which is better. So that means we have one more stop on the way, which is another locally owned coffee shop in my town. So I'm gonna head over there and we'll see you on the very last stop of the video. All right, see you soon. Oakley Doakley, folks. Second stop of the second round and final stop of the day, we stopped at Cafe Amour and Art, which is another local coffee shop in my area. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up grabbing here. Another black coffee, surprise, surprise. But this time, toss a little flavor in there to spice things up for all you lovely and beautiful folks out there. Got a little hazelnut shot put in there, so see how that turns out. Also, got myself a delicious treat to go along with this coffee, but no spoilers yet. We're gonna dive into this coffee first and then I'll show you what I ended up getting there. All right, cheers. Oh my God. Oh, that is good. I didn't know that's what hazelnut tasted like. I'd be having hazelnuts every day if I knew that. Holy jeez. Mm. I gotta say, I don't know who Hazel is, but her nuts are delicious. Whoa. Ah. Mm. This is really good. Really, really, really good. Mwah. Chef's kiss, 100%. All right, so that was the coffee. I'm gonna continue to enjoy that. But to show you the treat that I teased, I got this strawberry, I believe, strawberry and cream cheese Danish. Show you guys that right there up close. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So good. Okay, we're gonna dive into this. Look at this cool, look at the art on this plate too. It's so cool, I'm just gonna lift this up here for you so you guys can see. I'm just 
going to move this bee that's flying all around me right now as well. Don't you know I'm filming bee? That is quite rude. Look at that. So cool. All right. Let's dive into this. Mm. Oh, good. Flaky. Moist. Sorry, I know that's a trigger word for a lot of you folks out there, but it's accurate. It's delicious. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Mm. Mm. All right, finish this bad boy off. Holy jeez, this is so good. All right, one more bite. I'm gonna finish it, but oh my God. Absolutely delicious. Another sip of this coffee. All right. I'm curious. Comment below. Let me know what your guys' favorite treat is to go with coffee. Donuts, danishes, scones. Problem is, if you have scones, you got to make sure it's a good scone. You don't want to have that scone muffin ratio kind of thing happening. But yeah, let me know in the comments what your favorite treat is to go along with coffee. I'm curious. Good stuff. All right, so might as well just finish this off. I see it eyeing me. I have to finish it. All done. All right, so final ranking time. We've got chain. So we have Starbucks and Cafe Amor and Art. Time to rank them. You know what? Locally owned is going to take the sweep for this one. I'm gonna go with Cafe Amor and Art. This coffee, Starbucks coffee is good, don't get me wrong. All the coffee I've drank today is delicious, wonderful, refreshing. I am completely wired right now. I'm probably gonna go run around the city a few times just to burn off all this energy I got. But the hazelnut in this, you can tell this was like freshly brewed here. Like they probably just brew it right in the back. This is delicious. That being said, Local Loan is gonna take the sweep for both rounds. So. Hats off to you, Cafe Amor and Art, as well as Chow Cafe. You guys both won your respective rounds, but want to definitely give recognition to both Tim Hortons and Starbucks as well too. I go to Tim Hortons all the time, pretty much every day. Love their coffee. Starbucks was delicious, but fair is fair. Got to give credit where it's due. Local own takes the sweet. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Please just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Toss this video a good old fashioned thumbs up if you liked it. And remember to hit that channel bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video of mine. And we'll see you in the next video.